I really appreciate you joining me today and this is a conclusion to a story that I've been following for over a year. As I remind people all the time, these stories don't just come out in one day. You have to follow the story to be respectful of the legal system and also the families. This story is even more close to home due to the fact that I knew William Henry and it's sad to see another person from my childhood pass away in such a horrendous way. William gave back to the community in many ways. He was a boxing trainer and was very passionate about sports and he family as well very similar to brian mcintosh that is why there were such good friends throughout their whole lives and today the gunman that is responsible for the brutal murders of the two fathers has been jailed for a minimum of 40 years jonathan houseman executed brian mcintosh and william henry as a result of pure greed they said in court he lured them to an industrial estate in Briley Hill and shot them six times as they sat in the Range Rover. McIntosh was 29 years old and he was hit four times in the face and neck while sat in the front seat. William Henry was 31 years old and he was struck twice in the head and shoulder and they died instantly at the scene in the Albion Works industrial estate. The back seat passenger was Houseman, who's 32 years old and he fled the scene to a car that he had parked nearby and went to his friend's car valley business, H2O. And this was owned by Richard Avery and it was in the Merry Hill Shopping Centre, 10 minutes away. The police have now released the CCTV of Houseman actually in the industrial estate and the moments before the murder and the moments after the murder where he made his escape. And even when he arrived at his friend's business and his friend helped him to cover up evidence, spray himself in cleaning fluid and give him a change of clothes. They later destroyed evidence in a garden waste incinerator to help Houseman cover up his tracks. Detective established that the victims who worked in waste clearance were owed hundreds of thousands of pounds by Houseman and they had done work for him but had not been paid. It's believed that he owed the victims at least £400,000 and he had been paying off small amounts of this money but they had become frustrated with his failure to reimburse them. And as I spoke about in the previous video on this story, they actually took his car as well at one point. The Range Rover that was killed in was in his name and this was another reason why the police were able to get a suspect so soon. During the trial, Houseman, who is the son of a police officer, said that there was a mystery fourth man in the car and he was the gunman, but CCTV and forensic evidence showed that this was a lie. Houseman was convicted of the two murders that happened on the 30th of September last year after an eight-week trial at Birmingham Crown Court. Avery, 33, of no fixed abode, was jailed for perverting the course of justice for two and a half years. Detective Inspector Wes Martin, who led the investigation, said these killings were motivated by greed and pure evil. Houseman's desire to wipe out a debt and maintain a lavish lifestyle that he couldn't afford. Houseman arranged these meetings to ambush them and ultimately killed the two best friends. They were young family men and they were well loved in the local community and had their whole lives ahead of them. There has been no remorse from both of the men during the trial and they've tried to distance themselves from the horrific killings every step of the way. It was a cold-blooded execution that was completely unjustified and the police sent their thoughts to the families of the victims. The McIntosh family said we need time to grieve for our horrendous loss of William and Brian, who were both humble, big-hearted, compassionate, funny, ambitious, thriving family men. Their characters were larger than life and it will be an empty place without them. So this story is definitely a reminder of the complications of debt and what can build up and get so out of hand that some people feel so desperate that they resort to murder. So rest in peace to William Henry and Brian McIntosh. And I really appreciate you joining me and following me for this story that has taken so long. And my condolences to their family and their children as well. So I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget you can get the latest updates on the website and follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram at Scar City Studios. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.